This video is going to show you how to transfer files on and off of your Raspberry Pi device. One way we're going to do this is by mounting devices such as USB keys and um, network shares and also by using um, tools such as WinSCP to transfer files directly on and off of your Raspberry Pi. Okay, so let's look at how we mount a network share. Normally in a Windows you would go to um, computer, not network, and then from there, you'd be able to browse to any of your uh, network shares that you may or may not have. And that will load it up. Now, this is how we're going to do it on the command line on our Raspberry Pi. So the first thing we need to do is we need to move into a directory called MNT, which stands for um, abbreviation of mount. When we talk about mounting, obviously, let's like, say we're talking about mounting a, a network share. This is going to be a SIF share, which is uh, very similar to a Windows share. So this could be, for uh, example, you're connecting your Raspberry Pi to a share on your Windows machine, or it could be a um, like a standalone network attached storage, like I've got a Netgear Duo, and that's what I'm connecting to. So first thing you need to do is you need to make a directory. So sudo make directory, give it a name. I'm going to call my nom nom because that's the name of my um, uh, network attached storage device. Okay, so we see that's in there. And then we're going to run the following command sudo mount minus t. So we want to mount of minus t for type sifs. And then it's going to ask for the uh, user details. We have minus O for options. Now I'm going to be connecting in with the user guest because my um, device supports guest access. If it was a Windows machine, you'd have to add in the username and password. If I uh, type in the IP address of my um, Net Net Netgear Duo and the share that I want to share, I'm then going to do the second part, which we, is the path I want to mount it to which is the directory of my machine I've just created. So basically what I've said is mount of type SIFS options with the user guest on this IP address, look for a network share, sharing directory called media, and I'm mount it on my local Raspberry Pi in the directory slash MNT in a directory called nom nom. Give that a second to do its thing. If I now look at my file structure, I can see that here I've mounted my uh, file structure and see how much I've got available, how much space I have. If I, for example, wanted to browse to that directory, mnt, mnt slash nom nom, in there I'll have the full um, scope of all of my um, things. So I can look at my um, photos and home movies and in there I have a list of all the different home movies I've got one of the problems is that this isn't going to survive a reboot so what you're going to have to do is to come into your um, file system table again so um, FS tab and uh, Here's one I prepared earlier. So you're going to need to enter the line as I've got here um, the source, the destination, the type, the user level, and then when we reboot the box, and as always, I'll pause it so you don't have to wait. There we go. Voila, I can still. Browse my network share. Good stuff. Right, so I'm just going to take this standard sound disk key 
and uh, just pop it into my laptop. That's one of these U3 drives, so I'm just going to ignore that and uh, fire up my machine. Here's the 4 gig drive, I'm just going to format it and give it the name Tron FAT32. So I'm just going to plug my um, USB key into my Raspberry Pi. Move into your mount directory. Make a directory I'm just going to call USB. Oh, make the USB. Okay. Now we need to try and find the um, the name, the device name that the system's given this USB key. So we run the command D message, so D M E S G, and what we do is we look for um, obviously details of when it was plugged in. So we can see here, there's my SanDisk. Um, if you know much about U3 devices, you see how it presents itself as a CD1 drive. But here is my um, USB key. I can see here that it's been added as um, SDA. So um, that's the name that um, the system is automatically given the device, the USB device, SDA. Okay, so now that we have, um, we know that our device is called um, SDA, what we want to do is we now need to run the command mount um, and we're going to use slash dev slash SDA. We're going to mount that to slash MNT slash USB. There we go. If I now have a look at my um, system, I can now see that I've got a device called slash dev slash USB. If I go into um, the file slash um, mounts slash USB, there is one file in there called test.texts. And if I look in there, I just read that file, it just simply says the words greetings programs. Okay, so now that we've mounted our NAS and the USB key, we could actually move something from my network storage device to my USB key. So I would simply run the command sudo, the command copy, the path of the file I want to copy. So it's um, in the nom nom directory in a folder called tron, a file called tron.jpg, and I'm going to move that to um, slash mnt slash USB. So what I'm basically saying is I'm going to move it from this path of my network drive, my network share, to my USB key. I hit enter on that. If I then have a quick look at my USB key, and look at it, there's a file called Tron. Okay. So now I want to unmount it. So like in Windows, you would eject a, a USB key if you want to do it safely. Safely. In Linux, you ideally want to do the same. You say U mount, obviously short for unmount, and then you want to say select the device that you um, want to unmount. Okay, this is a good example. It's complaining that it's busy. It's actually because I'm currently in the same directory. So if I move into slash home slash pi, and then rerun that command. That time it won't complain, and if you see there, the, uh, the USB key is no longer mounted. Okay, so the last check is just to plug in the USB key into my laptop. Ignore all this rubbish, and we can see there's my USB key. I load that up, I've got a text file which has the contents we saw, and the JPEG file I've copied across from my NAS. It's just some um, picture of the character. Tron from Tron Legacy. Okay, so say for example I want to quickly transfer files onto my Raspberry Pi, I could potentially um, just use a simple FTP command, but by default FTP isn't enabled on um, the Raspberry Pi. So um, we'd have to go in and install uh, an FTP server and that can take a little bit of time. Much quicker way of doing it is if we've already um, installed SSH, which you would have been able to um, 
done in one of my previous videos, which I'll put a link to down here. Um, what you can do is you can download and install a program called WinSCP, which is a GUI version of um, just the command um, SCP. Go in here and enter your details for your, for your Raspberry Pi and um, set the protocol um, SCP, click log on, type in your password and then very easily on the left hand side here you will have your, um, your PC, so your desktop and everything that you've got on here and on the right hand side here you will have your Raspberry Pi so you can go into your slash etc directory and you could look at things like your um, let's say look at your your hosts file um, and you can make some changes or you could um, look at your um, var log directory and look at your messages file and if you want to grab any of these files you can simply just um, close that you could simply just drag that into wherever you want and the same way as you could drag a file from here into here without any trouble and that's uh, simply how you use uh, WinSCP.